please welcome back the fabulous ludicrous Chris Bridges. <laughs> I get yeah. so much love. I'm like, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> so I have the first question for you. Yeah, I'm ready. So I've heard that dashing through the snow looks like you had a lot of fun. True? I had too much fun shooting <laughs> this movie. I always like taking on roles that no one expects me to do. That's how you yep. diversify that portfolio and yeah. that acting career. So I'm so happy with this movie, and I feel like a lot of people are going to love it. Oh, it's it's going to so be a staple. Fun. You got to watch it every Christmas yeah, after yep, you yep. see it this Christmas. Yeah, that's, that's the, the way goal. you go. I, so, yeah. are you anything like your um, character, Eddie, or are you only, and you know, uh, do you do a lot for the holidays? What do you do? Yeah, I'm nothing like this character. That's exactly why I took on the role. <laughs> um, you know, he's kind of like a present day Scrooge to a degree. He yes. needs some convincing, he needs to his restoration on faith when it comes to the holiday season because he went through some traumatic experiences as a child. And when you watch the movie, you'll yeah. see. And, but it, this, this movie is really about healing, and a lot of people need healing these days. So there's some really deep, deeper themes that's going on in the movie. It, there, there are. And yeah. it was, but it was still fun, and it was done in just such a joyous way, ultimately. So Agreed. Yeah, Lil Kudos. Rel is hilarious. Kudos. Everybody. Oh, hilarious. So funny, and yeah. we just had Tiana on. I, I saw the other movie she was in first, and then I turned yours on, and I said, well, didn't I just see this person? Yeah, I just movie? asked Tiana, could I borrow, like, 20000 Yeah, I just like, what's going on? She's making Making a lot of money. I was <laughs> also, honestly, very happy to see an African American Santa Claus in this yeah. movie. Yes. Okay, because we have Black Santa in my house, yeah. but I know that th that's not always the case. It's empowering. It's you know, very right? empowering. Yeah. It's great um, to see ourselves. But because in most American movies, um, there is no Black Santa Claus. Exactly. Was this important? to you to have a black Santa Claus? 100 percent This mystical, yeah. magical sense, black Santa Claus. Yeah. Very yeah. important. I, I couldn't have said it better than what Tiana just said about representation. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave it at that. But that's why it's so special. And I feel like this movie is just totally different. It's actually a modern take. This Santa Claus has an iPad for his naughty and nice funny. list. He has yeah. an iPhone. <laughs> He's so funny. He's so funny. So I'm telling you, this is gonna break through the mold of all it's other Christmas movies. It's important for little black kids to see that. I yeah. think it's very yes. important. It's important. important. Especially Santa. Santa. You know, I owe... When did we decide he was Santa white? Like? <laughs> He's a <laughs> mythical <laughs> creature. Yeah. He can be anything. He can be anything. Listen, in the Luda like Christmas the world, he's been black the whole exactly. time. Yes. <laughs> Christmas. You have um, a beautiful family, you, your wife, uh, and you have been married for almost nine years, which means we must have gotten married around the same time, because my nine-year anniversary is November oh, 22nd. He's beat you. Oh, he's got more you? kids. He's got more kids. Yeah, he beat me by a whole life. <laughs> uh, four beautiful girls, ranging from two to 22. Yes. Way to spread that out. It <laughs> is. My my life is like a everyday version of the, of the view. Actually, <laughs> it's like at home, One, this is what I deal with. And But there's no commercial breaks. No. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, you shared a video of your youngest daughter rapping some of your lyrics. Oh. So let's go ahead and take oh, a look. Yeah. He had to wait. He had to wait. Shots. Yeah. He had to wait. He had to wait. He had to wait. Okay. He had to wait. Can you get out the way in this one? <laughs> oh, my God. Gosh, yeah. she knows exactly the right words not to say. She does. Say. No, they listen to the clean versions, but you see the genetics are there. The yeah. apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Move, I was like, that's all, Papa. Now, that's, that's her mother's side. That's that Middle West African dance stuff that she's watching every single day. But, you know, she's a perfect balance of, of both. Yes. Yeah. Um, by the way, the movie was so fun, and it so is going to become a Christmas staple. Yeah. I just yeah. I just loved it. Um, but Thank your career you. is so remarkable. It spanned um, so many years. that You walked out to your famous song, Stand Up, which is coming up on its 20th anniversary. Gosh. You've sold more that than 24 million oh, wow. albums worldwide. Yeah. Like, you're just such them. an icon. Um, what do you attribute your longevity to? You know, I'm, I stay hungry and I'm so competitive, even to this day. Like, I'm over here acting and I'm like, man, I gotta put out some more music to compete in the music space. So. Mm -hmm. I just love, you know, every just embracing what's new, but I also want to compete against what's new. So I would attribute that to just, you know, the longevity. And it's like, after all of this time, the fans have to 
prove and tell you what is actually a legacy song as opposed to you trying to tell everybody. You have to let this amount of time pass before it can still stand the test of time yeah. and be embedded in the culture. That's right. So I'm just blessed and thankful that after all this time, these records are still very, very well, popular. Well, they are very amongst, embedded in the yeah, culture. Yeah, embedded in the culture. <laughs> and, and talking about the culture, I mean, hip hop just celebrated its 50th 50 anniversary years. this yes. summer, okay? Yes. Um, what does that milestone mean for you? It's, it's crazy because it's still young, in my opinion. It's, it's very, very young. And to see the impact that it has had globally. Globally, it's just, yeah. It's out of this world, and it just makes me excited to see how much further it's going to continue to go yeah. over the next 50 years and beyond. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, before we go, we really quickly have to congratulate you on receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. Thank you. Latifah, Vin Diesel, LL Cool J, all coming to support you. Um, this must have been yeah. a full circle moment. It, uh, it was one of the best days of my entire life. It was like the perfect day. Everyone being there, my entire family, like you said, my friends, um, and, and receiving that award and, and that accolade is, is the first time that fans can actually have something tangible to go and touch and take pictures in front of. So it's like we we are able to celebrate this together. That, yeah. that that's yeah. how it felt. That's and awesome. I was I was just overjoyed. Overjoyed. Wow. Oh, Congratulations. Great. Congratulations. Great. Highlight of the year for yeah. sure. Yeah. Thank you. And it's not a surprise. <laughs> not a surprise at all. Thank so you. it's good to see. Come back again. Our I thanks will. to Tomorrow. Chris Ludacris Bridges <laughs> dashing through the snow. Yeah. Begin streaming on Friday, this Friday on Disney Plus. Make sure you watch it because you will not be disappointed.